Okay, here's a quick tutorial on how to life journal using the computer. Basically, we need two things. We need a Bible program, and we also need a journaling program. Well, lucky for us, both of these things are free, and what we're going to use are actually highly effective. So first of all, you're going to need to go to uversion.com. This is going to be our Bible program. So as you can see, I'm actually already signed in here. You'll probably need to create a new account if you don't have one already. And once you create an account, then you're going to go to Reading Plans. Once you're at Reading Plans, we're going to need to search for the Life Journaling Reading Plan. Now, it's already linked because I'm signed in. It's linked to my plan. So most likely when you create a new account, you will have a new, you can search for new plans. So you're going to search for uh, Life Journal. Okay, and the Life Journaling the Reading Plan is the plan that you want. Now, this should automatically sync to you when you sign in as your preferred reading plan. So every day that you pop this open, then it should have a new date up here with the scriptures for that day. So I bookmark this right up here, LJ for Life Journaling. So I will pop that open, and when I do, this is the screen that comes up. It'll have the different scriptures that I can read. So as you know, in Life Journaling, you read the scriptures and you're reading along, and you think, oh man, I really love that right there. So I'm going to select that, and then I am going to copy that and that will copy then to a clipboard. So we're doing the same thing as you would as if you were underlining in a regular Bible. Okay, So you're able to read through that. You can also pick some different versions there if you like different versions. There's There are a ton of features in version that uh, you can search around and use. Very, very helpful program. So we're using it for the Life Journaling Reading Plan. We've looked at it. We have our different scriptures that come up every day, and we select it. Now what we need is a journaling program that's online. So, for this, you're going to need to go to Evernote, evernote.com. This, this is my recommendation. The nice thing about Evernote is that this will be able to sync across different devices. So, if you have an iPhone or a smartphone, you can sync to Evernote. The same thing if you've got an iPad or something like that. So, you can get into Evernote and see everything that you've put in there, regardless of the device that you're using. So, you're going to want to download um, Evernote, and it is free. And so, here is my downloaded Evernote. Now, as you can see, I use this for a lot more than just, um, just life journaling. But I have life, my life journal is right here. And then in the life journal, I have uh, the different entries that I have. So I will go and I will do an, a new note and that's where this will pop up. Now I've already uh, copied uh, a previous life journal entry just to save time so I will paste that in there and so as you can see I've just written here's the scripture that I picked this this particular day is at Hebrews 12 the observation that I made the application that I made and then the prayer that I had and then I will title this and I've titled this uh, things that slow me down. Okay, so I've got that all done right there, and that's as simple as it is. The beautiful thing about Evernote is not only can, can it go across different devices and platforms, but it's also searchable. So if you're like, man, I know God told me some good things about forgiveness, you can type in right here forgiveness, and all of your entries that you had the word forgive or forgiveness in would come up. So it makes it highly searchable. The great thing for me is that I can actually read this writing because when I write uh, out uh, freehand, I don't, I'm not always able to read it. So it's as simple as that. You're going to want to go to um, Uversion, grab a life journaling reading plan right there, sign up for a free account, go to Evernote, down that, download that, and you are ready to start life journaling. And my prayer and hope, as always, is that as you're reading the Word of God, that He is speaking very deeply to you.